everybody and welcome back to the 12 days of comics mess today we're gonna be doing something fun something wholesome we're gonna be hanging out with the smurfs honestly my knowledge of the smurfs was a little bit limited so i did some googling because i wanted to know more about the artist and i wanted to know more about his art process actually because that's the thing i'm interested in and immediately i got sucked into a black hole of all things smurf i wound up on the ultimate smurf fan website apparently i now have an encyclopedic knowledge of many smurf figurines i found a recipe for smurf berry cookies i found out my name is now sticky smurf well, today I'm taking a look at a particular story called Little Peter's Christmas, included in the Smurfs Christmas Collection graphic novel. I'm going to link below where you can buy the collection. Our story begins with Lumberjack Smurf and Smurfette coming across a poor family. This boy is caring for his sick mother this Christmas Eve. I'm very interested in this comment that states that there's apparently a war going on right now in the Smurfs universe. The Smurfs are sad to see the state of this family and wish they could help, but they're distracted by the sight of Santa, and he's visiting none other than their enemy, Gargamel. Poor Santa's also having a real rough Christmas. He's got that Omicron variant, and he's hoping that Gargamel might be able to use some of his sorcerer magic to get him back in shape. Gargamel is suspiciously agreeable, even though he gets a real scolding from Santa for, you know, trying to eat Smurfs. Well, Gargamel has no intention of being good. In fact, he slips a little something extra into Santa's tea. Giving Santa a roofie doesn't get you on the naughty list. I don't know what will. This panel is really something out of context. Well, before passing out, Santa lets Gargamel in on a secret. It's the reindeer that know where to go and he delivers presents. So with Gargamel dressed up as Santa, he's able to find the location of the secret Smurf village. Lumberjack Smurf sneaked his way into Smurf Santa in his sleep? Oh, wait. Smurf him from his sleep. With Santa fully Smurfed awake, he springs into action. Santa's always got an emergency backup sleigh in case the first one explodes or something. Meanwhile, at the Smurf village, everyone is feeling jolly and smurfy. I love this line here. Next time I want somebody to piss off, I'm going to tell them to go smurf my pretzels. Gargamel realizes Santa is on his tail and the reindeer aren't taking any more of his crap. Crashing into the ice, Gargamel would be at the risk of hypothermia, but running away from the bloodthirsty wolves will warm him right back up. The Smurfs are delighted to help Santa get back to his deliveries and they make sure to tell him about the poor boy they found earlier. Smurfette and Lumberjack Smurf stash away in the presents and get accidentally tossed down the chimney of that boy's home. Man, good thing that fire wasn't lit. The boy is delighted with all the treats Santa brought him, but even more happy with the ultra-rare Smurfette dress and style doll from 1983. But the Smurfs can't stick around. They promise him that they'll bring some real toys for him tomorrow. The Smurfs work together to bring a big bunch of presents the next day and Gargamel, I don't know, either starves to death in that tree or he gets eaten by wolves. I think the Smurfs ought to have thrown in maybe some new clothes, some non-perishable food items, maybe medicine, maybe a nice cast iron cookware set unless they forgot about him being poor and starving with a sick mom. Come to think of it, I think the author forgot about Peter's mom too. She didn't even get a single line in these last pages. Unless maybe Peter has been alone this whole time and his mom is a schizophrenic hallucination. But that's our story. I think this was a fun read. I like the lettering style a lot. And just the line art in general. Peo has a distinctive art style. And I think that's why I wanted to look up what his work process was. I'm going to go back into the Googling black hole. When, when I come out, I might know... The extended lore of Gargamel and the average going price for a Smurf's lunchbox. But I hope you had fun reading along. I'll be back tomorrow with another comic.